Okay, so I'm doing a little video on the NRL versus AFL. Now the NRL was finally established after the Super League Wars in '98. Has now got 16 teams. It once had 20. But here's the spread of the teams. You've got one in New Zealand, one in the state of Victoria, uh, three in Queensland, and then 11 are in New South Wales or Sydney, basically. So it's a very East Coast centric league. Whereas the AFL called the VFL to 89, so it did have a, a sort of change from being mostly Victoria based to becoming a national competition in 1990. It's got 18 teams, eight are in Victoria, uh, two in Western Australia, two in New South Wales, two in Queensland, and two in South Australia. And um, they also take games on the road to like ta ta Tasmania and, and uh, Northern Territory. So the teams are more spread out, uh, spread out all over the country. I couldn't find um, attendance figures for uh, the Rugby League, NRL, uh, but they do regularly come quite high up in the TV viewership figures for like the Grand Final and uh, Knockouts Footy and State of Origin are some of the top viewed things in Australia. Uh, the AFL viewership figures, um, stadium-wise, uh, the average is up year on year. Um, over 6 million people bought tickets for matches this year and the Grand Final had over 100,000 people watching. Um, so in the last 10 years, viewership's gone through the roof. And this is where the NRL has a problem. Uh, and I have mentioned that they should possibly expand it to Perth, make it more national, have two, team, two new teams outside of Queensland and New South Wales. <coughs> and if you look at the figures, AFL in the last 20 or so years has done that. It's gone from a very South Australia, Victoria-centric competition, made it national. NRL sort of has expanded up the East Coast basically. Uh, one team out of New South Wales or Queensland is in Australia, which is in Victoria, Melbourne Storm, and then you've got the New Zealand Warriors uh, in New Zealand. So there's only two teams outside of technically the East Coast, really. I count Canberra as East Coast because it's part of New South Wales. So <coughs> there's the problem. NRL takes games on the road to Perth and Darwin, but that's about it. And some games, extra games to New Zealand, that's about it. It doesn't really, um, it's not, it can't be classed as a national competition. I can't, the thing is I couldn't find, um, in the short space of time I was preparing this video, I couldn't find a viewership figure. Um, I do know that attendances are slightly up, but uh, in comparison for growth, uh, AFL has been growing faster. Um, they've cornered markets. So if the NRL was going to Perth, it would have to compete with the AFL because the AFL has got three mountain blockers and West Coast Eagles, I believe, and they're very established and they're very successful teams. Um, and AFL has its own struggles with expansion teams, but they persisted and they've carried on and they keep putting money into it. Um, they don't want their expansion teams to fail. They're, they're being very persistent in how they uh, fund them. Um, and the fact that the competition has been going consistently without any changes really has just evolved since 1897. They've been consistently. And they only did a name change in 89. Um, they've just been consistently keeping going, evolving the game. NRL came about because of the ARL, Australian Rugby League, and the Super League War uh, with Rupert Murdoch. And it was a compromise. Uh, which only got finally resolved uh, four years ago with the Australian Rugby League Commission being finally set up. So, Rugby League in Australia has had a more chequered history with governance, um, growth, uh, various scandals such as, like... And don't get me wrong, AFL's had the peptide scandal with Essendon, a few salary cap breaches by Carlton, so... Bad things have happened, a scandal has happened in, in Aussie rules, but the AFL seems to deal with it better. Um, they've grown the game nationwide far better. More people actually play the game. More people watch the game. Um, comparison to Grand Finals, I think it's like eighty thousand average. Uh, let me just write that down. Eighty thousand to over a hundred thousand. GF. The thing is, the seasons are structured very similar. You've got the pre-season, um, which is structured very similar. There isn't any Auckland Nines, obviously, but pre-season games, warm-up games. Exhibition games, if you want to call them that. 
And then you get into the regular season, and then you get into like who makes the finals football, and then you get to the grand final. So the season structures are very similar. Um, but for some reason, AFL has got two extra teams. So for people going, oh, the NRL should you know, cut teams, no, that's not the way forward because you'll lose even more revenue that way. Um, they spread the teams all over the country, whereas the NRL only has three teams in Queensland, one in New Zealand, one in Victoria, and New South Wales, basically. Um, whereas if you look at AFL, you've got two in South Australia, two in Queensland, two in New South Wales, two in Western, Austra Western Australia, it's crucial, and South Australia, they're both crucial, and the rest are in Victoria. So they worked out that the, the core of the sport are in similar locations, one's in Victoria, one's in New South Wales, that's where the core of the sport is. But they've spread, the AFL has spread over a wider area, catchment. Um, so, AFL can call itself a truly national competition, the NRL has got a long way to go, in my eyes. Um, so, but the thing is, rugby league is big outside Australia. AFL isn't. So domestically, AFL is one, but rugby league is one worldwide. AFL hasn't won worldwide. <coughs> We've just had a rugby league World Cup, so the game is played in other countries. AFL, you don't have a World Cup. So in some respects, Rugby League has won that one. Um, but, all told, domestically, I watch both. Quite happily, I watch both. I'm quite happy and content watching both. Um, it's hard to watch both, but I'm quite happy and content to pick up, follow the news, see who's doing what, catch the odd game, replay online if I can. But domestically, and this is where the NRL is trying to look, domestically, they're losing out. Um, they are losing out. I, I, I've done an NRL versus Super League video and the NRL wins that one. Here's where the NRL is losing when, in a market where it should be competing more. It's got Rupert Murdoch backing it. He, he's part of the reason why the Melbourne Storm exists. He's part of the reason why the NRL exists is because he tried to start the Super League and it didn't work. But the NRL wasn't working either and they came to a compromise. Without Rupert Murdoch, I don't know how unpopular he is and I don't particularly like him, you don't have NRL. Um, so, the Super League Wars caused the NRL to come about. It is the second most popular league in Australia after the AFL. The gap is big. AFL has won the viewership war for now. It has won the, the fan base. So, NRL's got to work harder to get those casual fans. The thing is, NRL is in a more... I don't know how to describe it. Because they're mostly on the East Coast. The West Coast and the South Coast and Dart miss out, whereas the AFL will take more games on the road there or set up teams there. Um, <coughs> so... Um, there is a problem. There is a problem. But I'll leave that for you to decide. Place your comments below. Please like and subscribe. And I'll have some more videos for you soon.